Another 52 new COVID-19 cases in the Territory. It was exactly what Canberrans didn't want to hear, the Chief Minister included. I guess in emoji talk, it was a little bit of a wide-eyed response, like, OK, that's, uh, that's a high number, uh, higher than we would like. Initially, my heart went, oh, not again. The run of high cases has the community on edge. A little bit nervous and worried. Oh, it's not great, um, but I'm really confident with the ACT's vaccination numbers. I think it's excellent that we've got 90% first doses. A few days don't make a trend and hopefully they'll, they'll come down in uh, the days ahead and hopefully Canberrans will keep doing what they're doing and uh, you know, uh, obey the rules. Of the 52 new infections, 30 can be linked, but only 10 were in quarantine for their entire infectious period. 13 Canberrans are in hospital with the virus. Three of those are in intensive care, requiring ventilation. None of today's cases are connected to the Calvary Hayden aged care cluster or the construction sector. But one is a staff member who has been working in a mental health ward at Canberra Hospital. And then overnight, not in included in today's figures, there is a notification of a, another case in the hospital, uh, which we are working through this morning. As for the question on everyone's lips... What does this mean for our plans to get out of lockdown in a fortnight? Uh, well, look, at this stage, no change. It's up to Canberrans to keep it that way, by sticking to the rules and continuing to line up to get vaccinated. My intention is to deliver that lifting of restriction as is in the pathway. And uh, we will do everything we can to keep on top of this. Uh, if everybody assists us to do that, my intention is to deliver that. Canberrans certainly have their fingers crossed. Love to see it, love to be out, yeah. So I can go back to school and go back to like doing normal things. Over the border, it was more bad news. 11 new cases of COVID-19 were recorded in Queanbeyan and seven in Goulburn. The situation there and in the ACT has the Chief Minister fearing for our health system once more freedoms are granted and cases are inevitably driven up. Whatever the case number is for Canberra and our region, we can expect, it would seem, 10 to 13 per cent of patients to need hospital treatment. All state and territory health leaders have written to the federal government to request tens of millions of dollars in crisis funding to improve hospital capacity, boost in-home COVID-19 treatment and support mental health services. Will we cope without it? Uh, well, no. We'll need the money. Two days of high case numbers isn't a trend, so the next few days will be critical. And the Chief Health Officer has promised a comprehensive update on the ACT's outbreak on Tuesday. With Canberrans keen to see an end to lockdown, Dr Coleman says the one thing we can all do to increase the likelihood it will is get vaccinated. Rosie King, ABC News, Canberra.